Dubai, a city of bliss, glamour and endless opportunities. But how did it all begin? Let's take a journey through time to discover the rich history of this magnificent city. Dubai's story begins over a thousand years ago, in a time when the desert was a way of life. Nomadic Bedouin tribes traveled across the Arabian Peninsula in search of water and grazing land for their livestock. As the centuries passed, Dubai's location on the Persian Gulf made it an ideal place for trade. The discovery of pearls in the waters around Dubai brought prosperity to the region. And by the late 19th century, Dubai was a bustling port town. As trade increased, so did the city's population. Dubai's narrow streets were lined with bustling souks, where merchants from across the region would come to buy and sell goods. In the 19th century, the sheikhdoms that comprised the later UAE, known as the Trucial States, united to sign a treaty with Great Britain. This treaty established a commitment to safeguarding the UAE's coastline against any potential threats from the sea and to provide assistance in the event of any land-based attacks. In the 1960s, oil was discovered in the region, transforming Dubai into a major player in the global oil market. The oil boom led to a massive influx of wealth into the city, allowing Dubai to invest in modern infrastructure and establish itself as a world-class business hub. The British government announced in 1968 that it would terminate its protectorate and remove its military presence, thus leaving the people of the region to fend for themselves. Despite being smaller in size, population and military strength than their neighboring states, the small sheikdoms of the region endeavored to consolidate into a unified political entity. On December 2, 1971, the sheikdoms of Abu Dhabi, Ajman, Fujara, Sharjah, Dubai, Um al Quwain, and Rasha al Khaimah came together to form the United Arab Emirates. Since then, the UAE has become a thriving hub of trade, travel, tourism, and finance thanks to its abundant natural resources. The 1980s and 1990s saw Dubai undergo a rapid expansion, with the construction of iconic buildings like the Dubai World Trade Center and the Emirates Towers. In the 1990s, Dubai faced an economic downturn due to falling oil prices and a slowdown in trade. However, the city was quick to recover, thanks to a diversification strategy that focused on developing new sectors like tourism and real estate. One of the key drivers of Dubai's economic recovery was the development of a world-class tourism industry. Dubai's leaders recognized that the city's natural beauty, warm weather and strategic location made it an attractive destination for tourists from all over the world. To capitalize on this, the city invested heavily in developing new attractions. In 2001, construction began on the Palm Jumeirah, an artificial island shaped like a palm tree. This development helped cement Dubai's reputation as a city of innovation and ambition. In 2004, the construction began and in 2010, the Burj Khalifa was completed, becoming the tallest building in the world. This engineering marvel stands at a height of 828 meters and has become one of Dubai's most recognizable landmarks. All this helped to put Dubai on the map as a tourist destination attracting millions of visitors every year. Alongside tourism, Dubai also focused on developing its real estate sector as a source of income. With demand for housing and commercial space on the rise, the city's leaders launched ambitious construction projects, such as the Dubai Marina, the Business Bay and the Downtown Dubai Development. These projects helped to create a thriving real estate market in Dubai, attracting investors from around the world. Dubai's leaders also created business-friendly policies that made it easy for companies to set up in the city, further boosting its economy. Dubai's economy was hit hard though by the 2008 global financial crisis, which caused a sharp drop in global demand for oil and other commodities, as well as a slowdown in international trade and investment. 
the city's real estate sector was particularly affected, as many construction projects were put on hold or cancelled due to a lack of funding. This resulted in a significant decline in property prices, which left many investors and developers struggling to stay afloat. The crisis also had a significant impact on Dubai's financial sector, which had been heavily reliant on international capital markets for funding. Many banks and other financial institutions faced significant losses, and the government was forced to provide emergency funding to support the sector. However, despite the challenges, Dubai leaders remained optimistic about the city's future, and they worked hard to stabilize the economy and to position Dubai for future growth. Dubai also continued to invest in its infrastructure with the expansion of Dubai International Airport and the development of new transport links, such as the Dubai Metro, all helping to connect the city to the rest of the world. In the years that followed, the city launched a series of initiatives aimed at diversifying its economy, boosting its tourism sector and attracting new investors. This included hosting major events which helped to showcase the city's strength and potential to the world. In 2021, Dubai hosted the Delayed Expo 2020, a global event that provided six months of unforgettable experiences, welcomed 192 countries and attracted a remarkable total of more than 24 million visits. The legacy of the Expo 2020 for Dubai includes the development of the Expo 2020 site into a new urban district, the transfer of knowledge and technology the stimulation of tourism and the economy, the strengthening of Dubai's global reputation and the promotion of sustainability and environmental awareness. Today, Dubai has largely recovered from the effects of the 2008 financial crisis, with its real estate sector once again growing at a steady pace and its financial sector continuing to attract investments from around the world. The city has emerged as a global hub for trade, commerce and innovation and it continues to attract people from all over the world who are looking for new opportunities and a better quality of life. Dubai's transformation over the past century is not just visible in its impressive skyline, but also in its population growth. In the 1960s, Dubai was a small trading town with a population of just around 60,000 people. However, with the discovery of oil and the subsequent boom in trade and commerce, Dubai's population began to grow rapidly. By the 1980s, the city's population had reached around 270,000 people. In the decades that followed, Dubai continued to attract people from all over the world, thanks to its business-friendly policies and high standards of living. By the end of 2022, the population of Dubai had grown to over 3.5 million people, with expats making up the majority of the population. Today, Dubai is one of the most cosmopolitan cities in the world, with people from over 200 different nationalities calling the city their home. Population growth has been a key driver to the city's economic and social development, and its diverse population has helped to create a vibrant and multicultural society. As Dubai continues to grow and develop, its population is expected to keep expanding. The city's leaders are working to ensure the city's infrastructure, healthcare, education and housing can keep up with its growth, making sure that Dubai remains a great place to live, work and visit for generations to come. But the story of Dubai is not just about the city's physical transformation, it's also about the vision and leadership of the rulers who have guided the city's development over the years. Dubai's transformation into a modern city can be attributed to the visionary leadership of Sheikh Rashid bin Said Al Maktoum, who served as the ruler from 1958 until his death in 1990. He oversaw the development of Dubai's infrastructure, including the creation of Dubai Creek, which facilitated the city's growth as a major trading hub. After Sheikh Rashid's death, he was succeeded by his son, Sheikh Maktoum bin Rashid Al Maktoum, who served as the ruler of Dubai until his death in 2006. During his reign, Dubai underwent rapid expansion and modernization, with the construction of iconic landmarks like the Bush Al Arab and the Palm Jumeirah. Today, Dubai is led by Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum 
who assumed the position of ruler in 2006. Under his leadership, Dubai has continued to grow and evolve with a focus of diversifying the city's economy beyond just oil and tourism. Sheikh Mohammed has also been a champion of innovation and technology, launching initiatives like Dubai Smart City Project to make the city more sustainable and efficient. Sheikh Mohammed's son, Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, is the crown prince of Dubai and it's widely seen as a key player in the city's development. He is a driving force behind initiatives like the Dubai Future Accelerators, which brings together startups and government agencies to tackle key challenges facing the city. Another influential figure in Dubai's development is Sheikh Ahmed bin Said Al Maktoum, who serves as the chairman of Dubai Airport and the Emirates Group. Under his leadership, Dubai has become a major aviation hub, with Dubai International Airport now one of the busiest airports in the world. Together, these leaders have helped shape Dubai into the dynamic and cosmopolitan city it is today, with a focus on innovation, technology and sustainable development. As Dubai continues to evolve and grow, one thing is certain. The city's rich history and cultural heritage will always be a part of its story. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the history of Dubai. I hope you have enjoyed learning about the city's transformation over the centuries.